Keeping Up with the Kardashians is back. We have all the details on the explosive premiere, including a first look at a scene between Kim and Courtney that everyone will be talking about. Meghan Markle's first post-royal role with Disney has been announced, and you don't have to wait long to see it. Jojo Siwa, like you've never seen her. She's the latest masked singer to be revealed, but what we're still processing is her unlikely friendship with a certain megastar. This hot listing is officially off the market. Everything we know about Ariana Grande's new real estate agent boyfriend. Welcome to Mini News. I'm Liliana Vasquez, and we are coming to you live from our homes. I'm currently social distancing here on the east, east end of Long Island. And I'm Scott Twitty. This is my living room here in the middle of New York City. It's so good to see you again, Liliana. The, the isolation is starting to get real. And also, everybody at home, thank you so much. Yesterday, your comments on the show, like you're doing right now, commenting below. We're loving them. There was some very entertaining stuff about the Royals. And speaking of which, there's some news with Meghan Markle. Yeah, there is, Scott. It turns out the Duchess will be hitting Disney Plus sooner than we all thought. Disney announced this morning that Disney Nature's documentary, Elephant, which will be narrated by Markle, starts streaming on April 3rd. So put it in your calendars now. And if you look really closely at the poster, it says narrated by Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. So it looks like Disney is still using her title. And in support of the film, donations are being made to Elephants Without Borders, a preservation organization in Botswana. Now, I think when Megal found out, Megan found out she was doing a project with Disney, I don't think Elephant was that project. Maybe she thought like The Princess and a Frog or some other upcoming remake from Disney, but this is her first one. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. All I know is that I've got a little calendar alert right here, ready for my Megan docu. April 3, I can't wait for it. Hey, if you're running out of things to watch at the moment, everybody, tonight is a very good night for you because we have got season 18 of keeping up with the kardashians and there's so much that's going to be happening in tonight's episode and we have got a sneak peek for you right now have a look at this i don't know. act like i don't do sh do you know all i you have this this narrative in your I'm mind no 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 i will literally you up <laughs> if you mention it again literally shut the up and don't laugh like that you look like a freak okay but honestly change the narrative in your mind I work my ass off. I know, Kim, Courtney, the drama, I can't get enough of it. And tonight's episode is going to be for an hour and a half long, so make sure you tune in. It's on E at 8 p.m. tonight. I'm so excited for this new season. I want to see a lot of little Chicago and that tiny little voice of hers. What are you looking forward to, Liliana? Um, same. The more Chicago, the better. But honestly, I am ready to see Coco's confessional in response to that epic sister brawl. And by the way, am I the only person that wants to get multiple Kardashian episodes at once? I know we get them every week, but I feel like while we're all home self-isolating, can we get a couple more Kardashian episodes? Maybe like a bonus behind the scenes look? Well, you're just living that binging life that we're all doing at the moment, watching full seasons at one one time. I want to know, were they still filming this week when that whole phone call got leaked with Kim and Taylor Swift? That is going to be brilliant if they're recording that. That would have been amazing. Amazing. All right. Now, I also want to talk about Courtney Cox because like most of us, she is in isolation at the moment. Now, last night she appeared on Jimmy Kimmel's YouTube trivia and she revealed to us all what she's been up to. I decided to binge watch Friends. Are you doing it? I, I just started season one. It's really good. How are you binge watching it? Because it's not on Netflix now, right? No, I, I don't know. If the, I, just, I just say the word binge. I'm not sure. I bought it on, on Amazon Prime. Oh, OK. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, she's been very open in the past that her friend's trivia isn't that great. A lot of the time, some fans stump her up on facts that she didn't even know about on the show. So it's great that she is watching it. Unfortunately, she did reveal this week on Monday and Tuesday they were meant to be filming that friend's reunion. So fingers crossed they get a new date for that shortly because fans cannot wait. But what I do love is that Monica has to <laughs> pay to see episodes of Friends. I mean, why doesn't she have a secret code or a, some sort of file system there where she can watch them for free? Were you surprised by that? I was completely shocked. But Courtney, girl, I've got your back because I have the full Friends DVD set right downstairs in the collector's box. So if you need it, I think I could part with seasons like maybe three 
I could definitely do five and eight because I want her to have it. I mean, she's Monica. So if you need it, I've got you, girl. Yeah, All but right, who's your well, DVD player nowadays? <laughs> How can you watch that? But don't make fun of my ancient technology. These are the kind of times when you're happy you held on to that DVD player. I've got One second more, go. friends and Gossip Girl. All right. <laughs> well, if you were too busy on Zoom or Instagram Live last night, you might have missed this. So I'm here to catch you up on all things Masked Singer. It turns out Jojo Siwa is the latest star to be revealed on the hit show. Check this out. JoJo telling people that she chose the T-Rex costume because it was so unlike her. She, of course, could have been a unicorn, but it would have been so obvious, she says. She also reveals that no one on set was actually allowed to call her by her name. She could only be referred to as T-Rex during the entire production. Well, this makes sense because she needed a big costume with a like, big head to fit that bow into it. Obviously, she's always wearing bows. Will she ever take the bow off? I don't think she takes it off very often, but you know what else surprised me about this confession is JoJo and her friendship with Kim Kardashian and Little Northwest. Last year, we all remember when JoJo got to babysit Northwest for a YouTube video, they made some slime, obvi. They also danced, but she also revealed that she and Kim are still in touch and they were talking just two days ago. She says that the Kardashians are the sweetest, nicest people ever. So let us know what you guys think of JoJo and Kim's budding friendship in the comments below. Now, a lot of us have been talking about celebrities. We're seeing them pop up in our feeds. And if any of you out there are wondering what Ariana Grande is up to lately, well, it turns out that she is social distancing with someone special. It means that she is also off the market. She's dating a real estate agent named Dalton Gomez. And an e-source said that they've been spending quality time together while self-distancing during the pandemic. And a source also says that they run in the same circle of friends. He used to be a dancer. They have mutual friends like Miley Cyrus. And the two have been spending a lot of one-on-one -on -one time together at Ariana's home, ordering in food and staying in for several days at a time. So see, celebrities, they're just like us. Now, if you want to know how we uncovered who her mystery man was, fans actually started seeing him pop up on Ariana's IG story, and they were able to recognize him just from his tats. And by the way, I did some digging for y'all, and he is a real deal real estate agent. His listings start at $2 million, and they go all the way up to 12 mil. So maybe Ariana's gonna be his next client. I mean, that's definitely one way to be there by your man. Um, also, Scott, I was thinking, yep. do you think a fresh quarantine romance is even sustainable once we get back to the real world? I think it's a great idea. I mean, like two weeks in isolation probably equals like three months of dating someone in the real world. Because in that two weeks, you're going to find out everything about them, whether you're in or you're 100% out. But I think it's smart. People that have, you know, at the beginning of isolation, lock someone into their house. I think it's a good idea. Listen, y'all, let us know what you think about Corona couples in the comments below. I like that his arms as well with the tattoos. They're very similar to Pete Davidson's. Just yeah, saying. they look really cool. They look amazing. I love okay, them. we're going to play something right now. This is called Feed Roulette. This is where Liliana and I, in the last 24 hours, we've chosen something off our feed that made us laugh or made it us at least talk about it. So Liliana, of course, everyone's talking about coronavirus at the moment. If there was a doctor to cure coronavirus, mm -hmm. who would it be? Dr. Meredith Gray or would it be Dr. House? Oh, <laughs> Meredith Gray for sure, of course. Well, it's actually a bit of a trick question because they're both, they don't work in research. So <laughs> I don't know who would do it. Okay, another one really quickly. What about if it was Dr. Phil or Dr. Oz? Oh, 100% Dr. Oz. He like knows everything. Like I could ask him any yeah. question and he's got an answer. Dr. Oz, no question. You're, you're good because Dr. Phil, he's got a, he's a doctorate in psychology anyway. So oh, I didn't he's know that. Right about <laughs> what do you got for me? All right, Scott, I hope you're ready because here's the thing. Scott Tweedy loves a snack, people, more than anybody I know. And I know right now we're all snacking on a lot of things. So if you like designer collaborations, get ready because Supreme is releasing its highly anticipated Oreo cookie today. 
according to the brand's Instagram. You're looking at a picture of it right now. So these are sure. the red Oreo cookies, but instead of having them say Oreo, they say Supreme. And these cookies are now only going to be available online since the coronavirus outbreak has forced them to close all of their locations. So Scott, I got to let you know, buddy, though, if you buy one of these, it's only $3, which is awesome. But yeah. guess how many cookies you get? How many? Three. That's, that's good value. Because normally they're so overpriced on the Supreme things. And you see people lining up. I thought they were already out. I thought no. people already had, had a sample to them and they were reselling for like $10,000. How many are they releasing, do we know? I guess at some point today online. And by the way, I was disappointed that you only get three because I like buying a big Oreo bag and you get the big sleeves. And I can definitely finish no. the whole sleeve in one setting. So a sleeve of Supreme Oreos is gonna set me back like 27 bucks. No, I think it's great value. $3, three cookies, they're the red <laughs> one. And plus you can probably sell them for thousands online. So that, that, is, that a, is a the deal of the day, basically. It is the well, deal guys, of the day. Well guys, thank you so much for joining us. As always, we're gonna be back tomorrow with more mini news. That's right, you guys. Everyone stay healthy, please stay inside, and we will see you manana. Ciao, bye.